Hey guys, guess what? I found a school here in Canada, like a university that offers scholarships and other awards to immigrants here in Canada. In this video, I'll be sharing with you the different types of scholarships because not all scholarships are given to people, okay? So they have like different grades and different level of scholarships. There is a scholarship amount for 10,000 Canadian dollars. There's another one for 7,000. There's another one for like $6,000. They have like different stages and you are you will be entitled to different forms of scholarship and different forms of award are you in ready are you ready to have a scholarship in Canada with this university are you ready if you are let's go there hey guys welcome back yes so in today's video i found a school that is offering full scholarship for mba students in canada if you want to go for mba program here in canada i got you covered i got this school it's actually mcgill university here in canada and they are currently giving um scholarships and award to their students it's a full funded scholarship and the deadline for applying for this scholarship is 1st of May. So without wasting time, let's quickly delve into this so that you can start your application process. Let's start this now. Okay, my friends, this is the link, Mark Gill. I will be putting this link in the description section so that at your own time, you can go and click on the link and apply to get full-time scholarships and award if you want to do your MBA or any other related programs. Okay, so it says MBA students at the Dusitel Faculty of Management have access to a wide variety of funding options, including merit-based scholarships and awards. All students are automatically considered for award. All students, okay, unless otherwise noted, unless indicated. All awards are granted by the MBA Scholarship Awards. So these are the entrance awards and programs that they have. They have the Adam Dinks MBA Leadership Award and this award is for 10,000 Canadian dollars, right? This is for Adam Dinks MBA Leadership Award. So you can go down and read all about this. We also have Alvin J. Walker Scholarship. The Alvin J. Walker Scholarship, there is no fixed amount that is given to students in this uh, award form because the uh, scholarship that is given here varies. Okay, so it says the Alvin J. Walker Scholarship established by the estate of the late Alvin J. Walker, J. Walker is awarded on the basis of academic merit to a student entering into the MBA program. So this one is based on your performance, right? Why the up one is basically for everyone. Another one they have is the Service Family MBA uh, Fellowship. This one also varies. Okay, so basically I see awards that are given on academic merits is basically uh, varied, right? Okay, so um, Dominic K. M. Lai MBA Fellowship. This one as well varies and um, its preference will be given to students from Asia. So if you are from Asia, you are definitely have higher chances of getting the Dominic KLI MBA uh, fellowship. We have another one is the uh, Hescon HE Graduate Award. This one you get scholarship amount up to $5,000. Okay, and this is awarded on the basis of academic merit. We also have the LP Kim Hong MBA Leadership Award. And this varies and it also preference given to students who are from Asia based on demonstrated, demonstrated leadership skills. Wow. Okay. Another one here is the JCAT Drysdale MBA Fellowship. 
this one varies and uh, preference is given to people who are Canadian. So you might be Canadian born or you get your Canadian citizen after your PR, you are uh, entitled to this. We also have the Kelly Family MBA Leadership Award. This one is for 15,000 Canadian dollars. And the scholarship is based on academic merit and demonstrated leadership skills. We have the Lecky Foundation MBA Leadership Award. This is for 10,000 Canadian dollars and it's also based on academic merit and demonstrated leadership skills. We have the Lewis and Margaret Pell Park MBA Entrance Fellowship. It varies also on demonstrated leadership skills and um, academic merit. We have the Linda and Robert Goldberger Beja Fellowship. This is for 25,000 Canadian dollars. And this is to outstanding Canadian MBA student on the basis of Canadian academic merit. So this is for people who are born here as Canadian locals and people who have gotten their citizenship after their PR. The Marcel and Digital Masters Fellowship varies and it is based on academic merit and leadership qualities. The MBA class of 1979 is for 10,000 Canadian dollars and this is for students enrolling or ended in the MBA program at the Digital Faculty of Management. We have another MBA here for 10,000 class of 1994 leadership award and this scholarship is on the basis of merit and demonstrated leadership skills wow they have lots of scholarship and uh, award programs in this school we have the nova steel award nova steel award also varies and is given to students with demonstrating creative and innovative thinking so if you know you are very innovative and you have this demonstrative creative mind, you know, you're able to think and you're innovative, you are likely to get a scholarship uh, in this school. We have Philip L. Jenkins MBA Leadership and Diversity Award. And uh, this is uh, based on uh, merit and demonstrated leadership skills and or community service preference to be given to visible minority students and it is for 10,000 Canadian dollar. We have the Paul Tellier MBA Fellowship. This varies and it is awarded on the basis of academic merit. We have the Perel Olivier Perel MBA Leadership Award. It's for 10,000 Canadian dollars. And um, this is given to people based on leadership skills and or excellence in either business sports or his or her community. So if you have um, great zeal in uh, business or in sports or you are very active in the community where you stay, you get 10,000 Canadian, uh, Canadian dollars for your scholarship. We have Robert Zitra MBA leadership award this is for ten thousand canadian dollars and it is based on uh, academic merit and demonstrated leadership skills this is for that ten thousand canadian dollar another one for ten thousand canadian dollar is rick mccrony mba leadership award based on merit and demonstrated leadership skills we have ruth p glennon fellowship this varies and it is for um uh, female students entering the MBA program in the digital faculty. So this is the first one where they are segregating male and female. This is basically for female, I guess, to encourage females to go for master's program. Then we have South Locono MBA Awards uh, Leadership uh, Scholarship. This is for 10,000 Canadian dollar. It's based on academic merit, demonstrated leadership skills, and excellence in either business or in your own community. It is for 10,000 dollars as well. We have Samira Saka MBA Leadership Awards. It's for 10,000 uh, dollars and it is awarded for students in your master's program on the basis of academic merit and demonstrated leadership skills. We have the Sandhya and Swati Sharma MBA Leadership Award. This varies and is on the basis of academic merit and demonstrated 
leadership skills. We have Sama Becker Sahab MBA Entrance Fellowship. This varies and is also on academic merit and uh, demonstrated leadership skills. We have the Scotia Bank Fellowship. So this one is sponsored by Scotia Bank. It's for ten thousand Canadian dollars, and preference is given to people from Latin America or people who are from the Caribbean. We have Timothy Thompson MBA Fellowship. You get scholarship up to ten thousand Canadian dollars based on demonstrated community involvement and leadership. And finally, we have Web Work Family Masters Fellowship. This varies and uh, it's for students who have demonstrated community involvement and commitment to improving the health care system. Okay, and now here you have lots of more information about this uh this particular school that offers this MBA program. So you can see that there's no way you will attend this school that you will not get a scholarship program. Like I said earlier on, I've dropped this link in the description section. So kindly go to the description section. The description section is just below the title of the video. You will see where more is written in apostrophe. Click the more and it will take you to the description section. So this scholarship is basically for people who already have their permanent residence and are Canadian uh, residents and, and they have their uh, Canada citizenship. These are the people who are entitled to, to get this scholarship. As for people who will be applying from their home country, from Africa, from Asia, uh, from Europe, from other parts of the world, go to the link and get the contact, uh, contacts, be it a phone number or an email, send an email and see if you can get a scholarship if you are applying from outside of the country where you don't have a PR or you are not a citizen. You never can tell you might be as lucky as the people who got the PR and citizenship that will be having this scholarship up to 25,000 Canadian dollars. Yeah, so we can see how that smooth and that easy goes. So just click on the link and do your application, choose a program or course and just follow up all of the prompts that will come out from clicking on the link. I hope this video is very helpful and um, I hope that this video will get to the grassroots and it will get into the hands of those people who actually need this video. Guys, I hope you've clicked on the like button and I hope you're going to share this video. And as usual, if you have any part of this video that you are not too sure of the information that I gave, kindly drop all of your comments in the comment section. You all know I love chit chatting with you. So I'll see you in the next video. Take good care again and bye-bye.